Hey guys, it's Darth Kibbles here. I've been staring at these circles for probably far too long. And I don't know if they're, they're creepy or they're beautiful. But this is the home screen for Control. I'm doing a, a full blind playthrough. I know very little about it. Um, I've seen some trailers here and there. It kind of looks a lot like Infamous I played back on the PS3, which is a game I absolutely loved. It was the first game I ever played on PS3. So if it's anything like that, I think we're going to have a good time. But yeah, I'm going to probably get off this creepy menu screen now. Uh, cut scenes, I'm not really going to talk over. Um, I think this is quite a dark game. So I don't really want to spoil it by cracking rubbish dad jokes. Um, but yeah. Let's see what we've got in store. Fair warning. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie, something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? All right. Not creepy at all. Jesse seems like a bit of a badass, but who doesn't know the name of Shawshank Redemption? bad? Is there a gun on me? Whoa! Certain objects are not allowed inside the bureau. Weapons, pages, laptops. Anything smart. Gotta be me. Number two pencils? Rubber ducks! Oh my god. What kind of place is this? What hellhole have we entered? I will find a rubber duck before the day is out. Is there like a confiscated items locker that's full of rubber ducks? Hello? I'm not doing that. Oh, it's... okay. This is fancy. This seal. 
I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Well, that's not weird. Good work. Okay, that's pretty boring. So that was the director that shot himself. Well, I presume he shot himself. Hello? Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Are you not worried that no one is here in the crouch? Oh! Does it look like it? Where the hell is everyone? Wow. Really colourful place you got here, guys. Really easy on the eyes. Security order. A shark in his something. Almost secure something. Permission to something. Following basic protocol. Shoot to kill. Shoot to kill. Alright. Hope we don't run into any sharks. Sincerely boring. I can hear singing or humming. Hello? Hey, man. Where are all the, hey, the people? Excuse me. Dude. Hello. No. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. <laughs> Not you quite. Need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. Janitor, by the way. You'll work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, later, you are no hell of it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you are out. Right. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Well, I am here for the janitor. No face at all. Think about it. No face. Um, like did you says, just read my mind? I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. All right. Bit weird. Make sure we don't miss anything, hey? I wasn't there before. Whoop. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. 
I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Yes. This game's so moody. I'm not sure there's going to be room for many jokes, you know. I'm kidding. I'll do my best. Alright, dead man. Love a good transition. Did I lose you there for a moment? Not at all. You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Whoa. Is he dead? Alaska scissors bleed loss. Sorry. Need clearance. Why is there an alarm going off? Multiple building shifts. Ooh. And from what I've seen, this building's a bit like. The stairs from Hogwarts it just has a mind of its own. It should be interesting. Because I'm sure that lift wasn't there in the first place. Yeah, it could have been some snazzy hidden door, but I prefer black magic if you ask me. Whoop! Oh my god. Did he just did he just kill himself? Shit. Oh man. Shit. It's fine, it's fine. I know first aid. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Um, really? Are you worse? It's like she's talking to me as a player. I'm so lost. I will catch up. Whoa, be careful there! There's the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Right. Follow the board's instructions to complete the astral plane challenge. What is happening? Right. Oh! There it goes. Oh, that was really easy. The same gun. This is so weird. Oh. 
Well, you were pointing okay. it at your head last time, so you're doing a bit better. Cool. Reloads over time. Nice. What'd you drop? Just dropping eyeballs. Left, right and centre, are we? Oh! Oh my god. Oh, you're so creepy. They are one two punch. What are you dropping? Oh! Do you have a gun? Oh, these must be the health. Okay, cool. Don't need it yet. Smashing it. spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. Doing better than me then. And this gun's alive. First of all, just bubble gun. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Why? Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Hmm. Let's go see what the big round room is. That can't be dangerous. Holy shit! so far. We got clearance yet. What? Oh, let me in. I'm the director now. I can go anywhere. And I want those rubber ducks. Do not disturb. I guess French was the old guy, right? Oh, not to be disturbed. Well, you know, big day. Got to shoot yourself in the head. Hide all the ducks. Circle room is is that way. Not yet. All right, what else we got?
reach the hotline. Make it bling. The hotline, says the dead man. Okay. Oh, why are all these people floating? Oh. Take it easy. Oh, wow. Okay. Don't really know what happened there. Cool, 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 cool. Let's try that again. The hotline. Yep, get to the hotline, make it bling. Bam! A bit more confidence. Oop. The hotline. <laughs> Just keep pressing reload every time. Don't need to. Oop. Just natural, isn't it? Just want to reload. Cool. Anyone seen a, a hotline? Anywhere? Or are we just going to keep dropping from the skies? Shelter. So, what's the deal with these lot? Ah, oh, I kind of want to shoot her. I shouldn't. She looks busy. Okay, that's fine. Hello? Are you okay? Hmm. Asleep or dead? Or in a trance? That's fine. House memory. Material. Okay. That's fine. I'm sure that'll make sense. Never. What's this? Oh, I don't know what I picked up. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events. Intrusions upon... Hey, hotline blings down. in the background. A side note. Remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. You now, better write that down, son. The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. OP indeed. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, Head of Research, Federal Bureau of Control. Guess what? None the wiser. Let's just keep going. Hmm. That looks open. Oh, hey guys. Hmm. A hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. It's red bad. Yes. Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Me and you, girl. The babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Look at the tunes on. Come on, guys, you know the one. Nope. Well, they're singing something else. It's gonna be worthless. Listen. Oh, 
White pearls. <gasps> the pyramid. this thing. Oh no. Go, 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 go. Whoop. Run. Health. Okay, weapon mods, that's good. Give me some of them. Oh my god, projectile spread less. Oh, exclusive to shatter. What do I have now? Is it called grip? I think... Oh yeah, grip is reliable with semi-automatic fire. I think from what I've seen, you only get one weapon, the thing that you hold, but... It changes forms, so I've picked up something for a different form. Um, and then a personal mod, energy boost, health boost, yes, perfect. I'm just getting riddled otherwise. Hey man, where's Hotline Bling? Cleans it, okay, cool. I'm sure this is going to be a boss fight, but we'll see. Telling me. We did it. Hello. Whoa. Can you hear me? Hello. Are you with us? With the bureau. Are you still sane? Who said that? I'd feel saner if I knew where the voice was coming from. Oh. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feelings mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. Hey, they're going to video. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. But oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, janitor's assistant. Who knows? Whatever pays more. It's the first one, isn't it? Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The Such hiss. It. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, uh, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push Jeez. the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director. I just came here to mop the floors, man. I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. 
<laughs> I love it. I, this is fucking unbelievable. It's, I can't even, uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the Hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. I bet she knows where the ducks are. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Damn it. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. All right. Where are the ducks? Tell me! That wasn't the plan, was it? Oh no. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Well, I'll never know where the ducks are. Rips them apart. Oh man. Jesse, over here. We need to make a plan, Jesse. On how not to kill people. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? That's me. It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is. This is so weird. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Oh man, he's Keep dead. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Just a janitor's assistant. Why am I here? To mop the floors, I find the ducks! No. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. 
I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof this is already it, more than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know Whoa. it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Hello? Is that seal again? What kind of phone doesn't have any numbers on it? I know this is all new to you, so creepy. don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There I will no be here for questions. ten hours. If you want me the to ask everything I don't know. Just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow right, the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good That's luck, fine. Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Okay. Thanks, can I have Emily. a Iron Man you know, protect your suit thing, please? I'm putting my neck on the line. Yeah, a bit more material for who knows what. Alright, it seems like a good place to leave it. Loads of cutscenes today, but you know, it's the start of the game. Hopefully, everything's going to become a little more fluid, a little more action packed. And I have 8 million questions. So, going well. See you in the next one.